all the notice today, all the streams this week. I was sitting here thinking, I think it's going to be till Thursday till we don't have a stream. But the Bloodhounds are out. We have Rocky with us again, and we're going to go and try to get a look at some Truax Black Bucks. So, no time wasted. We're just going to head straight down south here. They should be a little more uh, likely to be in their zones already. It definitely seems that they did uh, fix some of that logic with like animals getting into the zones on time. We did the hunt for fallow deer earlier and I had zero issues. They were exactly where I expect them to be. So hopefully all goes well. Bloodhounds are out. I like it. What's up winners? So many streams and uploads this week. All the content. It's the way it goes. Just watched your vids. Got a 270.4 diamond fallow. Nice crickets. I know Kyla got a 272. I want to crack 270. I think it would be cool. I think it's generally like the same frame that ends up in the 260s, and then it's like additional width or something there that gets them in the 270. What's up, bottom boy? Not sure how long I'll be here. I appreciate you stopping by then. How do you get a dog? If you buy the Bloodhound DLC, you can go into your weapon locker. There's a kennel option there now, and you get it from there. Um, my video from Friday shows exactly how to do it. How much the dogs cost? The DLC itself is $3.99, and then you can get them for... Well, the first dog you buy in-game is, like, it doesn't cost any in-game cash. Any beyond that is $45,000 in-game. What's up, Rebecca? First stream I've been able to make it to the last one I just missed. Well, I'm glad you can make it to this one. Should be interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing some Black Buck out here. I've seen, I think, two diamonds posted in the Discord. Very different horns as well, so... Hoping to maybe discover... A new diamond rack. We'll see. See if we can get that lucky. It's all going to depend on how much the uh, little pop reset did for us, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. What's the best animal to hunt on this map for parquet? It really depends. I mean, a lot of people would like red deer. I am quite a fan of the mule deer. Um, honestly, since the Axis deer got their true racks and they fixed the overabundance of diamonds, they're quite fun. It's a good map. It's just... I think pumas and water buffalo being aggressive and chasing your animals can make it a bit frustrating. Pollen's got awful today. That and there's it just smells like coffee everywhere. <laughs> Who knows what's going on out there. Updating my game so I can't play with the dog yet. Bought the DLC though? Nice. Hopefully your update is uh, going quick. I heard the at least the Xbox one is just massive. That was something that um, the devs mentioned. Apparently, they don't choose the size of the update. Microsoft does. Isn't it like 50-something gigs? Like, I don't know why they would do that. Seems a bit much, but I don't know. Still half asleep. Speed is hindered. It's going to be big struggles for a while. But that's quite all right. Uh, where, where did your name come from, Billy? But anyway, sounds good, unless it's a three-hour one. I have no idea what's going to happen. If the Black Buck are kind to us and things go well, we might stay. I'm curious what they've done, because on occasion, when they do true racks, I swear they do more than just, like, the new species pop reset. Not seeing much of anything down here, though, so we'll probably check across this little narrow point. Then we'll see. Rocky's growling at our puma. Yeah, the Xbox update is 55 gigs. Three hours left. You have to have, like, top tier interwebs to have that within any reasonable time frame. Like, why? I don't know. Apparently, like I said, that is a Microsoft thing and not EW doing that. Quite odd. Oh. That makes sense, Billy. Sorry for your bread loss. Very first slice. What did you say? The very slice. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that could work, too. Updates taken 12 years. I just can't believe that. Why are you... Must be a 930 zone? Yeah. Well, I can say that I've been through here plenty of times from Mule Deer and Black Buck and don't recall that, so maybe it's a full reset. 
we'll have to pay attention. Took about three hours for Tanner. I know the internet speed here is good enough that that wouldn't be that bad, but I mean, is Microsoft just forgetting the fact that not everyone has super speed internet? I don't know. Um, I think this herd of Axis was actually here, so maybe they didn't reset everything, which I'd be perfectly happy with. Black Box, all that matters. Is it worth resetting on Xbox? Well, Kylo's the one to ask, that's for sure. Oh, I hope so, bottom boy. I hope so, because it is just... at that size. What's your internet like there? I have no idea. Dynamic duo? I like it. Are moose fixed on console? They should be. They should have been fixed with the Te Awarua update, though. As far as I know, that's all been taken care of. Hey, Ragnar, how's it going, man? Male, male, dynamic duo 2021? Yes. Definitely. Drew's gonna take about five years. I just hope that uh, either YouTube videos or something can kinda, you know, help that time pass. Because that, I know it from, like, where I live with my parents, the internet's basically non existent there. Waiting for new content. Time goes 12 times slower, so hopefully it's going to speed up a little bit. Sounds good, Billy. Hopefully whatever you're off to do involves less uh, bread funeral services. I meant big mail. I was wondering what male mail <laughs> meant, quite honestly, but, you know, it happens. Uh, Michelin Man, thanks for the super chat. Watching this while on a lunch break. That was a black book. Just a dope. Uh, did any glitches change from beta now that the DLC is out? I don't think so. Like, the um, the early access build that we were on, as far as I know, is pretty much the final release build. They have, like, a couple of things that they have yet to do, usually. It's the same, like, when we have done Yukon or Te Aurora, Silver Ridge Peaks, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping there's going to be some kind of fix for the max tracking level for the dogs. We are going to be a little bit careful. We'll probably have him track here and there where it's a more difficult track, but he's sitting at uh, level 10 right now. Also, we should pet him when we get the chance, but... Yeah, I don't want to go to max tracking level, like, today, and then have to basically wait until that gets fixed. Two days in a row? How do we get so lucky? Well, I guess you gotta thank EW for releasing new content on a Tuesday. I actually don't even know. I think we've done live streams, like for the new maps and stuff that have come out. And then that would be two days in a row, because that's usually Tuesdays, but I don't know. We, we are blessed. Maybe so. Was that a mick that I saw fly by? Got four hours of work left until I can play Handyman by Day in Virtual Hunter at night. Shooting all the pixels. Well... Back to the same kind of thing. Hopefully those four hours can go by quickly. Are there no male black buck here? Again, it was the same on the early access build. And I had no idea about my own map, but that's odd. We might as well just fast travel then. Because if there's not going to be anything, well, I don't know. We'll go up at least until we can see down to the end. Uh, Canon, it's three ninety nine. It's like the weapon pack DLC price. Are you hooked on Subnautica now, Ragnar? It's such a fun game, dude. It's so much fun. They added a black circle around the marker. Did that stay? I don't think I've used a marker yet. It sure did. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, it doesn't seem at all necessary. Not sure why they did it, but maybe there's like an aspect of, because like some games have colorblind mode, maybe that orange is hard to see and the circle helps. Could be something like that. Oh, nice winners. Too many menus? There are, there are quite a few. I feel that. 
What's up, Envy? Doggo's treating us well so far. We have not gotten to see any male black buck uh, to get a look at the true racks yet, but we did our fallow hunt earlier. We got ourselves a diamond fallow deer. Rocky's just been out here killing it, sitting at level 10 already. Uh, since the game crashes with ducks and geese, will the game crash with turkeys? I don't know. I actually have a guess, by the way, as to why ducks and geese crash the game. I think if the dogs were able to air quote, track um, ducks and geese. You could basically max his level in like half the time that it would take or less hunting big game. So there's probably supposed to be some kind of mechanic there where like s something is meant to happen. But whatever it is clearly isn't working quite right. I'm stuck, picked up the MK1 Seamoth thing, but it's not in my data bank. So you're saying you visited the Aurora, and you got the MK1 thing out of the upgrade, um, like console there, but you don't have the blueprint for it? You should just have the item itself. You shouldn't actually need the blueprint. I did say that, bottom boy. <laughs> no gifting dog DLCs? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, if there's not black books somewhere in this area, we're doing something wrong. This also in that I think of it wasn't where I was going to start, but here we are. We'll keep on backing up just in case they're like right here. But I'm not seeing any. They may be a bit farther out. Am I on time for the stream? We're 12 minutes in and actually haven't shot anything just yet. We're trying to find some Trurac Black Buck. They're being a little difficult to spot at the moment. Uh, just got the game. Want some advice on how to level up and get money quick. Just starting off struggling a bit. Um, I did like a whole beginner series. Some of that information is kind of less relevant now as the game has changed since then. But if you're just starting out... Honestly, the biggest thing is just to pretty much shoot everything you see. Don't worry about trying to get trophy animals or anything like that. If you have the goose DLC, I would definitely recommend um, setting up a goose blind and decoys and stuff over on Hirschfelden and hunting them. You can make so much money and get so much XP from that. That's something I should do. Max weight black buck track, but I don't know where they're at. Um, I might make a fresh save file and just see how long it takes to do 0 to 60 purely on geese. It's so like RNG related. What? What are you guys doing over there? It's 10. They should be in their zones. Unless I spook them. I don't see a good reason why they'd be over there, but I guess we'll follow the tracks. What should I name my dog? I was really trying to think of what to name the one in the live game, because I wasn't going to go with Rocky, but I ended up quite liking Rocky in the beta, and I just wanted to kind of stay with the same name. Something I liked was trying to name it after, like, one of the guns or bows in the game, actually. If there's a gun that you use quite often that you like, for some reason in my head, that's like a, a cool dog name. Don't know what you guys think about that. Download an Xbox is definitely worth it. More animals for sure. First animal out of the tent. Potential diamond water buffalo. Nice. Hopefully that guy makes it. I still see no sign of the male black buck tracks now. We might swing back to the left then. Well. I wonder if they're just going to their zone north of us. 12 gigabytes in 45 minutes now, saying 8 hours for the remaining 43. I mean, that actually sounds about right. It would be a little slower, but that's not too surprising. Those are very old tracks. I don't know exactly what's going on. I think we're just going to get back close to the water and assume our black buck are going to be there. I mean, you did cause fallow respawns that helped us out today, Kyla, so I don't know. 
Named your dog Ruby? It's a good dog name. I like it. You like Twitch more? I feel it. Gotta do all the streams in all the places, though. Hey, where the heck are you going? Hold on. I'm not a fan of this. I'm trying to get by us without us getting to see him. This is one of the better spots. That guy's up to 117. That's probably the best one. So I still don't know where they were. Might have been a little high. I don't know. He's dying at a decent rate. That one should be smoked. No? Hmm. Slight black box drugs. Was there one other decent four in here? Where'd they go? Okay. They're just slow. Must have hit him in the vertebrae. I swear there was one decent buck yet. Mm. Yeah, that guy. Of course he's gonna go back. Back through all the brush that took him 12 years to get through in the first place. Those are all pretty small. We can only shoot three here and not delete zones that we couldn't find, so... Now we got it. Wait. Uh... We made a good shot. Not on the right animal. Well, now we're deleting zones, but it's fine. Smoked. So, like I said, we're not gonna have the dog track everything. We'll probably have him track the one that we hit poorly. Just to try to avoid getting the max tracking level. It seems like there was an issue with that in the early access build, and we don't want to have him basically glitched on day one. So that one we got. It's a 109. Kind of uneven. This horn flares off to the side a little bit. This one, I think, is the one that we thought was the biggest. And I really don't know if we hit it well or not. 112, and we did. It was single lung. 112. Perfect score. You should, Kyla. That's probably all I need. 105. That guy's just a straight silver. Okay. So we only messed up the one, then. Where did that go? Gotta say I'm a bit underwhelmed about the dogs. Yeah, they did them very well, and I haven't personally played with them yet. But maybe I was just expecting retrievers? Uh, that's kind of just knowing you're hunting and, like, the stuff that you would want in a dog. That's kind of where I thought that message was going to be going. I really think the Bloodhounds are, like, in my opinion, pretty much perfectly done. So, my guess would be... We're eventually going to see, like, other dog breeds, and Retrievers likely would be among them. Just because I expect these to be received quite well. We're going to get this guy's uh, bond all the way up before we have him go tracking. What's up, pupper? Just came in from the horseback again. Uh, got a diamond black buck already? None yet. We did just smoke for him, but none were diamonds. Give him one more pet. And now we should be good. Send him off on this track. I think it's going to be nice as well. Like, this shot wasn't the best, and it is a black buck, so it's not going to run super far. But for, like, streams and times where you really don't want to actually track, if you make a bad shot, if you're, like, say you're grinding for black buck in this case, you want to go claim it, you want the respawn, but you really don't care to actually go and follow it. Now we just gotta halfway pay attention to the hunter mate, see if the dog goes and... Uh. I can just be here reading chat, don't even have to pay attention to the ground. Uh, Mr. Phoenix, I just said that completely backwards. Mr. Phoenix, just confused all the vowels, it's fine. Sorry about that. Thanks for the super chat. Good to be back, big schuster, hope you're well. Other than my English, doing quite well. Hope you are too. I think we oofed the biggest one, actually. Oh, we were close, too. If that shot was higher, it's in the liver. Well, that's a little unfortunate, but still a solid 20 below diamond. Do you want a treat or something? Is that what's going on here? Bottom boy is a big fan of dragons. I had no idea of such things. This game's turning into hunting sim too. I would strongly disagree with that. Leveling up with the companion as well. We deleted the zone already, so... 
I mean, why not just shoot one more to see more true Rex? And that one should be bigger. Naturally, I let him get a bodyguard, but eventually. I'm kind of surprised they're coming back into a zone that's been deleted, because like that much hunting pressure should kind of maybe deter them, but they don't seem to care. They're just heading straight back. That'll be one more set of horns we get to look at. Just wouldn't use them much still buying them because who knows, but this does open the door. And like I said, from what I saw, they're very well made and work great. Yeah, minus the uh, max level tracker bug, they're really, really well done. And I, I said it in my video earlier today. I really think it's worth the investment as you're like grinding or whatever you're doing to like get them to track, level them up, with the, the companion at least anyway till the tracking thing's fixed and get those traits you never know when something like um, like that spotted trait will come in useful or master tracker even brave if you're I'm curious to see exactly how it works but if you don't care for wolves or maybe they even will ward off like Cape Buffalo and stuff I just I don't know why but a lot of times when I'm playing multiplayer if I'm getting charged by like a water buffalo or a Cape Buffalo I just kind of ignore it and run away and hope that it'll leave. If the dog can make that go away, that would just be such a nice little bonus to having them along for the hunt. I saw, by the way, um, I haven't gotten to go and like look at it myself. Hmm. Another heavy track. Maybe he'll be up here further. But anyway, um, someone said that in the multiplayer section when you create a game, you can choose to turn off dogs. I'm curious why that is. What's up, sweetness? I've noticed that if my if I've hold on, I've noticed that if I have my dog sit after he has found the animal, that he stops barking. Yeah, it seems like that's a intended uh, little mechanic there. Haven't heard of this bug. What is the max tracker bug? Okay, so if you level your dog up to level fifteen under tracker here, basically. They start struggling to find tracks, and they track in slow motion. I expect there to be a fix for this eventually, and I'm hoping it's not going to like reset all the progress. So now that we're level 10, now that he's good at tracking, I'm just going to have him follow the things that I actually, you know, maybe somewhat need help following. And hopefully that's going to be within the next couple of days that they can get a fix out for that. But if you watch, I think Scarecrow had it on one of his streams. I don't know that I ever showed it anywhere. Max weight estimate blonde mule deer, huh? Maybe we'll get eyes on that. So Puma over there. I don't see more black buck. There's tracks here. So maybe they spooked a while ago. Hopefully we'll get eyes on them. How much are dogs? They are the DLC is $3.99. In game, once you buy the DLC, your first dog you get is free, doesn't cost you any cash. After that, there are 45,000. Did you say talking is hard or something? Talking is difficult today. I usually get to be awake for longer than this. No, I don't. I usually sleep in more. I've actually been up for a while. Maybe that's the problem. Talking is overrated. I always say that at home, because I, I, it's not like I just do that on YouTube or whatever. I just can't speak. When I'm at home, like on Sundays, if we're watching football and I try to say something and the words are just coming out backwards... Just like, good thing I don't talk for a living, because that would just be a disaster. Um, I don't think they do, Graham. Not that I've been able to notice. Even even if they do, like, for another player to mess up someone's hunt with their dog, like, the player itself is going to spook any animal before the dog would. Maybe if you don't want someone else's dog tracking your kill, I guess I could see that. Maybe that makes some sense. Where are... There we go. That's probably the one that we were tracking. So they were just hidden way back in there. Did we just not hit him in the lung either? Shots are a struggle today too. Bodyguards. Why? It's a little better. We'll follow them around the end because there might be more drinking like here roughly. If there's not we can sometimes get more shots. 
Small brain, big mouth. <laughs> My life. Relatable. I think that's our best one now. Wasn't the one that we sort of messed up? 114. Making progress. And we shot under the liver again. Should start putting these shots just a little higher and we'll be alright. How do you have so much money? I play this game a lot. Um, I've got 4,075 hours currently. And I think we're in somewhere in the 31,000 total harvest. 31,200. It adds up. How many dogs can you have by your side when you're hunting? You can only have one of your yeah. own. If you're in multiplayer, you could have like your friend's dogs running around with them and they could technically be by your side, but only one. Uh, Dark Spears, thanks for the super chat. Can't wait to get home and use the hounds. Wish we had them last week when I shot my first time in Seek Deer and it took me an hour and a half to find it. That was real time as well. I could imagine that would have been useful, but glad you found them. And now we'll get to have them for future situations like that. What did I? Oh yeah, I shot some red deer down here last night, kind of clearing pressure. Let's see if there's any black buck down in this area. 2,500 hours? That's still a ton of hours. Like, that's a long, long time. I think 8,000 something is a year, which is kind of scary to think about. Like half a year of playing this game. I don't know why my binoculars are doing that. I swear there's something wrong with the right click on my mouse, but I got a new mouse because I had that happening before. I don't know if it's something in the Razer Synapse software. Anyway, I'm seeing... Oh, no, I am seeing a black buck. I was about to say that I wasn't seeing any. It's pretty much right on perfect 243 range, so... We can go ahead and hit him. Since we're going over there, we can scan around and see if there's any others we're missing. Any ideas for your 50,000th harvest? I don't know what we're going to do. It would be nice, like... Say as we're getting close, if I were to stumble into some kind of super rare in single player, to just kind of leave it for 50,000, but that also feels sort of lame. I liked how we did it on Te Aoroa, um, with the, like, multiplayer diamond, because then you can, I mean, you could kind of find it and then leave and come back, but you're rolling the dice with that kind of thing. Grinding Fallow gives all the money. All the money and all the levels. When did that drop for Xbox? It was in February, right? And even with 10 days away, you just hit level 60 like yesterday. It's pretty quick. 2080 is one full year of full time employment. So in 100 hours, I'll be at two full years of full time employment's worth of hours. Good to know. What hand do you shoot in real life? I shoot left so it's hard to find left hand guns. Yeah, I've always shot right handed. I think we might have a left handed rifle somewhere because from way back my dad took my mom hunting somewhere and she's left handed. Actually, I think she shoots left handed. I don't think she actually is. Is it bad that I don't know that? Probably. This game, <laughs> something, are you saying like it's rather chill? When you're stressed? I think that might be where you're going with that. Even if it's not, it is a very chill game. It's good to just relax with. Uh, Jacob, thanks for the super chat. Bloodhounds are out on Xbox, man. They're out on all platforms. Level 6, slowly but surely, it takes time. Especially when you're starting out. That track was not the same one. Small silver. They all look good so far, though. We haven't had any of those weird, like, one light horn, one dark horn, strange things that we had with that leucistic, which, of course, it had to be the leucistic one that would spawn that way. I guess there was another in the area, but I don't see it. And it's not like this area has been the best for them, so we'll just keep moving. The go to call the wild? I don't know about that, but I, I appreciate you, man. Webcams are overrated on a hunting game. I just never felt like it added that much. Like, when you're 
in a first person game such as this and like you do want to be able to scan your surroundings taking away any part of the screen kind of is unfortunate it's pretty good bottom boy this game makes me clean my ears good gotta be able to hear that directional hearing is just massively important I was about to say if those were all does one small buck it's a decent mule deer buck speaking of that Never did see whatever that one was up at the other lake. Huh. It's kind of odd. I'm glad we found the area where all of the females drink and all the trees are in the way. It's only mildly frustrating. Eh, there's a decent male back in there, I think. They're probably just calm and walking around because they're just spawning in since we were too close with the tent, so... If we go back around on this side, we should be able to have them kind of walk back into their zone eventually. Although, going alerts a little bit of a surprise. Uh, Mr. Phoenix, thanks for the super chat once again. Okay, I got you. I do know you're from Twitch then. Appreciate you, and I'll be able to make that connection. This is a thing, by the way, with this update. This is a Puma drink zone that ended at 9.30. It's currently 11.14 in game. It seems like the tracks for drink zones just stay visible for longer. And you do get the zones. Like, if you pick those up and identify them and haven't gotten them already, they are added to your map, so <laughs> it's kind of a good thing to see. Kyla, thank you for the super chat and the sticker. Sticker love, I like it. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Is that a thing, Rebecca? I didn't know. I didn't know that happened. I feel bad for somewhat giggling at that, but I had never heard of anything like that. So basically, from what I can tell, one of the... What? Hmm. I think we gotta kill that. Anyway, one of the, like, traditionally best black buck lakes. There's a good four. Okay, before he gets there, let's, uh... Let's kill this big male. Not as tiny as the one that we killed um, in one of the videos. I forget exactly which one. That guy looks solid. What are we looking at for a range? If we can get him to stop anywhere. It's about 270. So it shouldn't be too bad. Zero for 300. And we just, should just have to be like a little bit high. I think that'll be right into a lung. So I wonder if there are more males that are coming back yet. I don't see any. We could try to get that one. That's a nice four. Probably a little farther away. Just gonna completely guess, but. Was there one in front of him? Because <laughs> we didn't get him, but there are plenty more males. Ooh. Why does that look so big? Huh. Well, we'll go around that way. I have to pay attention. Update's taking so long, I'm guessing you're probably on console. Apparently that update is just massive. Well, thank you, Lucas. I don't know, uh, as whatever just happened over here, we completely whiffed a couple of times, but I appreciate it. Uh, has anyone ever called you a Flintstone gummy? I don't know if gummy's been ever added on the end. I've definitely had Flintstone plenty of times. Probably no surprise. Got a piebald mule to your doe while waiting for the Bloodhound update? That's something pretty cool. Got about an hour and a half, maybe, who knows? We shall see. Probably only an hour and a half. Depends on if Black Buck, uh, for some reason, start producing all kinds of big males. <laughs> Did Whitetail get fixed? I mean, the zone thing seems to be fixed. As far as Whitetail themselves, I don't know. There was nothing mentioned specifically about them in the patch notes. 
all the strugs. Uh, Snicka, thanks for the super chat. Didn't watch the EW live stream, but did they mention if they added a clue or not? I didn't watch it either, so I have no idea. Hopefully someone else here has the answer to that. There are more over on that end, which I hadn't seen, but... Yeah, again, we're kind of going around that way, so we might get to figure out what's there. Should I use a 12 gauge to turkey hunt with this season or my uncle's crossbow? Hmm. I mean, I always prefer a shotgun, but. Hmm. Crossbow would be fun. I feel like your effective range is pretty similar anyway. Just playing parquet with my brother, and he shot a level 5 axis we found like 3. Was it by chance um, a little while back when they were um, kind of broken and spawning too frequently? 68. I think we killed a 59 on the early axis. I like that though. I know it's really small, but having one forked and one just spike, that actually looks pretty good. We'll give Mr. Rocky all the pets. Not yet. One day, Kyla. Why are multiplayer maps dead and others have tons of wildlife? It really just depends map to map. Like, certain areas on some maps are... Why did his spawn not increase? Hold on. That's weird. Anyway, uh, yeah, some zones exist on some maps and don't on others, and they're just like in slightly different areas. You just, uh, you never know. It really does depend on just the individual map. Now we're getting somewhere. Are we up to max? Best friend, good deal. Still have a black buck to find. Hopefully we can find that without the dog, just so we're not leveling up tracking too much. It can't have gone very far. And in the meantime, I'm trying to half pay attention. Oh, really didn't go very far. This guy is 123. Look at the mass on that. That's cool. He's still about nine below diamond. That's the most like massive four I've seen. I don't know if I want to tax it just because we're going to do the um, trophy lodge stream here. It's coming up eventually, and that's just one more animal that is going to kind of be in my way as far as trying to either delete everything or put it in a different lodge, so we won't keep them, but pretty cool to see, actually. I think we're just going to have time to get to this small lake, check this spot, and then probably reset the time for the lakes up in this area. Got some calling over there too. Found an albino and two monastic female axis in one herd. Are they still broken? Uh, two monastic seems a little odd. The rares have always been quite common. If it was two albino yeah. and one monastic, I wouldn't be surprised. Two monastic seems actually rare though. As as far as I know, that's um, like the rares are the same as they always been. I don't think they're actually fixed or broken to begin with necessarily love how tight the massive curl is yeah it looked good hey TTV uh, Andrew thanks for the super chat by the way hope you're doing well have a good hunt and a great rest of your day love the vids well thank you man I am doing well and I hope you are too is Kyla keeping me out of trouble always how often do you see rare black buck leucistics are relatively common Melonistics are actually quite rare. By the way, um, I'm hoping to do a good bit of hunting these guys in multiplayer. Probably that's going to be something I do after the stream today. Actually, maybe not. Eh, sort of have a end of the month montage to edit, so I probably should hold off on that. But anyway, I still want to get a Melonistic Gold Black Buck for uh, the like the main room on the left when you enter the Trophy Lodge, and I'd love to get a better Leucistic since the True Axe are out. So. That'll be something to try to kind of go for other than just a diamond one. When am I doing my live stream, Matthew? I'm not sure exactly. 
I figure if we get our Diamond Red Fox, it's going to be not long after that. If we don't get our Diamond Red Fox within the next, say, I don't know, two weeks, we'll probably just do the live stream anyway and hopefully eventually add the Red Fox to it. I just like the idea of getting to basically hang out for a while as we redo the lodge. A little bit of input from you guys as we do it would be cool as well, so we'll just have to see. I think we're going to mostly leave the multi mounts we have intact. Another max weight mule deer track. Blonde as well. But where are they hiding when they leave these tracks? Anyway, we'll leave the multi mounts intact and. It's mostly going to be moving around stuff on the wall, and then maybe some of the, like, locations of the multi-mount themselves. Some of it, I'll sort of be asking you guys for input, some of it will be moving to wherever. Should be just a kind of chill, kind of hangout stream. What's up, MT? Uh, what is the name of the music for the backgrounds? It's music from Epidemic Sound. Uh, the names of the tracks have changed since I downloaded them, so I actually don't even know what they are anymore. But, yeah, Epidemic Sound has a ton of, uh, music you can listen to. I think you can listen to everything there for free, and we're about to spook something, because Rocky's in that critical position, but anyway. Um, if you want to use any of that stuff for content, they have, like, a monthly subscription kind of deal. I see no mule deer over there, so hopefully they're down here then. I just want to know what that max estimate one is. How'd you get the name Flinter? So this is a story that I've told quite a number of times by now. Basically, uh, my favorite hunting game for quite a long time was Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2009. I saw a black buck. Decent four in there we should probably go for. But anyway, uh, the main character in Danger Sons 2009 is named Flint Abrams, and I played that game to completion like a couple of times over, and when I finally beat it, say like the third time, I figured it was time to go and find another game. I knew about the Hunter Classic like existing, but I'd never actually signed up, so I I went to do that. I needed a username, and because I was sort of fresh off playing Dangerous Hunts, I basically wanted to be Flint Abrams in Hunter, so I actually, back then there were a lot more options for like your avatar and stuff. I went through, found the avatar that I thought looked most similar to uh, the main character of the Cabela's game, and basically I couldn't use the name Flint Abrams, it was already taken, so for whatever reason, that looked kind of big, for whatever reason my young brain at the time decided to add an ER and call it good and 10 years plus later, here we are. What's up, Joe? Don's heating up a little bit. We started to actually find some black buck. We're clearly shooting um, smaller ones than we should because that guy's better than the one that we just killed. I don't love that set of horns because the mass difference. Oh goodness. That was quite unfortunate that he took a step there. I don't know if he's going to die from that. Oh. Hit a female, too. What? Okay. Uh. Might have saved that after the barrage of bullets that we sent that way. Honestly, Kyla, I could make like a mini video or even clip one of the stream uh, moments where I've told the story. Put it on the Flantro channel and link it through a command like that. Hydrate if you haven't already. Can do. I actually did hydrate before because I knew it was going to be quite a story. Um, MT, thanks for the super chat. Do you accept fan mail? I'd like to make you a lore of your choice. Um, if I were to do that, I'd have to set up a P.O. box, obviously. So, um, tell you what. If and when I get one set up, I will uh, let you know, because I appreciate that, man. Sounds pretty cool. What a shot. I just hope that we didn't hit it the second time now. Rocky should be working at this in a second. There we go. Huh. Yeah, that one wasn't even that big. I think I'm still, like, halfway used to the, uh, the legacies. So when I see one that looks even 
remotely like the old diamonds, I assume, is going to be high scoring. Gotta get him a P.O. box. Gotta happen. Just clapped his cheeks. I'm curious what we just did. Could have been <laughs> like a neck shot or who knows. Odd set of horns on that guy for sure. Yeah, just casually smoked him in the neck as he was running. It's fine. Definitely meant to do that. 122.5. I like this, like, if they were a matching set of horns, like his left side. That would be pretty cool. Like, less curls and more mass just looks really neat to me, but that was admittedly quite lucky. We're going to fast travel here quick because it's 12-12 in game. Time to make a wish. Uh, but we don't want our black buck leaving their drinking zones. Bottom boy, thanks for the super chat. Got to go play on the tractor for the rest of the afternoon. Chat, y'all behave. Flinter shoots the big one. Well, that sounds like an order, so I'll do my best. Appreciate you, man. Hopefully catch you in Discord or well, somewhere around. I'm sure I will. Wonky, to say the least. Just a little bit. Uh, Corbin, legacy racks for Black Buck. They're technically, in a weird way, is. But they're all true racks now. The thing is, there actually is a... There's another max weight mule deer. I wonder if it's the same one. Uh, looks like we picked up too many tracks to see. Anyway, there's a true rack for the Black Buck that is... It's just a gold. But it's exactly the old Big Rack Diamond Legacy. Why they use the exact same one, I have no idea, but it looks identical to me, at least. How do you always have so many animals? So, this is a common question, and I'm not doing anything special that I'm aware of. The best I can figure is, basically, I'm always trying to hunt whatever is, like, active at the time. So, currently, it's 12-17 in-game. It's a little bit um, later now than I'd like it to be, but between 9 and 12, Black Buck and Mule Deer are drinking, so I'm hunting the areas where I know they tend to drink, and I'm, yeah, I'm just seeing a bunch of them because they're out and active nah. at that time. A oh, nice car, Mikai. I like it. I wonder why this guy was running, by the way, with fresh tracks. There might have been a Puma that went through the area. I just want to know what he is, though. Uh, Stephanie, thanks for the super chat. What is the name of the song in the best of 2020? I would have to go and look, because I have no idea. I don't have a clue. If you're in my Discord, uh, you can tag me after the stream. I'll try to go and find it. That ain't it. I might have seen a blonde mule deer down there, though. Saw, like, a little bit of a lighter colored creature. Can't be that far ahead of us. What's your favorite diamond? Uh, such a nice black buck you just got. Well, thank you. Uh, my favorite ever that we've gotten. Like, the fact that we shot the piebald diamond whitetail on Twitch, like live on Twitch. I just can't get over the live aspect of getting a super rare. I just think that's a, a really cool thing that maybe will happen again, but I would say is unlikely to happen again. So. I think I gotta go with that one. I'm worried that this is glitched. It's not like a straight line. We're catching up to him. Just don't get why he's going away. Did I swear something else moved? Yeah, that's probably him there. Should be. Bodyguards. Might have got along. He's dropping kind of fast. The dogs came out today. They did. You can see Rocky running around here in front of me. Just having a blast. How are we looking on companion? We gotta keep his bond up, so let's stop and do that. But getting closer to level 11. How did I do that? Said for him to sit. And then we just lay down, apparently. So many naughty little bears, what? I mean, I guess. You're right, Rebecca. How cool is the dog? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give him a solid 12. 
I like it. I like having a dog just by my side. It was odd. I got off the early access build a little bit early last night and just went and hunted around in... I think I was on Yukon multiplayer for a little while. And it was weird to not have the dog by my side. Like, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to not bring him on a hunt again. I just enjoy it. It's the most important, Kyla. It's the most important thing. I don't know how that was a long shot, but I'm not going to complain. Okay, so I want to see if we can get it to work because I got it on the early access build. We'll see if it'll happen again. If we reset the time back to like 930, I'm thinking we should be able to see Black Buck here pretty much immediately. And anybody that's been playing the game and uh, dealing with zones for any amount of time recently probably knows that it's been taking animals a long time to get into their zones. So I'm expecting to, as we walk around here, be able to see some. Hopefully that'll be the case. Uh, M4 clan, I am level 60. Wish the best for you and hope you get your goal uh, to one mil row to 300k. It feels like it's actually doable. <laughs> um, you know, as we cross the quarter million threshold one day, but road to 300k, that's just wild to see. Thinking back, it's wild to see. Okay, so... We have Mule Deer drinking already, which basically uh, is the same kind of thing. They have the same drink time as Black Buck, but hopefully across the way here somewhere. There should be Black Buck as well. Yeah, there's one. Another decent four out of three. We might as well go around then, I guess. I think that'll be the move. Did that alert actually... I didn't hear it. But I saw it. Well, it's in my alert box, so I assume it went off. Uh, Rebecca, thanks for the super chat. Come on, guys. Hit the like button. Also, Flinter, you rock. Well, thank you. Too kind, but I appreciate it. What do you think of the canning, the 300? I carry it pretty much everywhere I go. Just in case I need to smoke a water buffalo or, you know, something like that. It's good to have. It's a good gun. Thoughts on the fish update trailer? Um, seems fishy to me. Is someone asking about trying to shoot the dog? Yeah, it's the same as if you try to shoot a player in multiplayer. Just says invalid target. I like getting zones <laughs> when it's not necessarily the right time. It's really good information. Especially, uh... Like, you can open the map and see the weight of the animal even if they don't have any tracks there. So, for instance, you know, we picked up that Puma Zone back there. That particular one was a lower weight, but had that said 86 to 105, I would kind of know, well, like this, there's some max weight Red Deer there. So I probably know I should reset the time to Red Deer drink time one of these days, just to see the size of the Red Deer that uh, is drinking at this area. Rocky must have got stuck back there. The next 24 hour stream will probably be when we hit 300k. That's the plan anyway. As for when that's going to be, I'm going to guess fall-ish. That's usually when that kind of thing happens. We shall see. Thanks, sweetness. I try. Smoke the like button. Holy... I was proud of it, Rebecca. I don't know. I don't even know if there's anything at all that's actually referring to, but didn't sound like anything I'm aware of. Is it just the... It was the same in the early access again, and I find that odd. Just two black buck drinking there? They've rarely travel in anything but huge herds. Well then, we'll get to closer to 250. Whatever that was. Not that one. That guy there should be able to bring him down. We could try for both, but it's just not a good spot to do it. Should be smoked. Oh, it should be we, though, Kyla. Kyla has all the fallow tips. Get Te Aoroa, go to the top right lake, snipe them all, respawns will be great. How many diamonds did you kill at that one lake, if you had to guess? 
thoughts on being able to name the trophy lodges. So that's the thing in the classic, and when you start having a bunch, I mean, I don't even know what half of these are anymore. They're just numbered. It would be such a nice thing to be able to say, okay, I know Spring Creek Manor number two is my Hall of Shame. I know Spring Creek Manor number, oh goodness, nine, I think, is our second lodge. Seseka Safari 3 is our main lodge. Seseka Safari 1 is our ultimate old scoring system lodge. Like, if I could just name them, I would know that. I would know which one's my empty thumbnail lodge, for instance. Like, I just keep one lodge empty to be able to place animals to make thumbnails. Would be nice. Six or more at that top right Like That's insane. If you need fallow tips, she's got them all. Or, you just have her uh, come shoot 20 fallow and 12 level 5 respawn. It's just great. Has anyone tried the Mosin yet today? I tried it um, on the early access build itself. It was still kind of buggy, so I'm guessing in the release it's still going to be a bit bugged. Hard to say for sure, but pretty sure that's going to be the case. I'm going to try to start making sense of when to um, pet Rocky and stuff, since we're not having him track everything. And again, anybody that wasn't here earlier, the reason we're not having him track everything is we don't want his uh, tracker skill to go too high. Right now there's a bit of a bug where if they go to like 14, or I guess 15, uh, they start to bug out and track in slow motion, and that's no good. So we're just kind of having him track when it's actually necessary at this point. But I still want to keep the bond up so his companion levels up. If you're going to fly over us, like, I can't not shoot you. Sorry to say. Should have flown the other way. Kyla's my lucky charm. I mean, I would agree with that, but I don't know if she will. Do the hunting dogs help with tracking? Because to me, track is easy for me and the animals leave plenty of tracks. I mean, most of the time, that's the case. Sometimes, though, there's, like, tracking bugs. Things happen to where... That's a ton of access to you, by the way. Things happen to where, um... You know, you can't find the next track. Scarecrow got to try it out, um, on the early access. I never had the, um, scenario come up. But he said, even if the tracks were invisible, the dogs are still capable of following them. And in my mind, like, it's worth every second of you know, training to get them to be able to track well in those kind of situations, especially if it's a diamond that's having issues with tracks. Lucky charm. Coincidence, you say? I don't, I don't know if I buy that. Far too many coincidences, if you ask me. Just kill 30 level 3 to 4 moose. Hopefully I get a big male. It's a good number. It's a good number of meese to get respawns. So none of these, by the way, are that 210 to 240 track that we picked up. I was hoping he might be over here, but guess not. I also can't get eyes on that bigger level 4 axis here that we spotted. I was going to shoot that, but I can't figure out where it went. I have no idea. Not like we need more diamond axes here at this point, but it would have been nice. We should do that, Kyla. That might be the one. Nope. That's just a six. I swear there's sevens that are smaller than that. I guess that's kind of a true axe thing, though. If you have the game on Steam, DLC is on sale for $2.99. Well, anybody that's got it on Steam and is considering the dog DLC, now's the time, then. All-in-one slow mode is on. Just gotta happen, you know? 0.1%. Yeah, that's probably not the best thing to do, Spacify. Is Quattro Kalinas glitched? I'm not aware of any issues on that map currently. Is there something you're experiencing that would look like a glitch? There are lots of
lots of Mjolnir in the top right corner, and I would take my time with them. Yeah, I do want to actually go check that, probably once we've checked the Black Buck Lakes. I want to go here again. This lake has seemed to have a ton of Mjolnir, and I usually shoot them every time I'm there just to try to get respawns. Oh, nice, Austin. I think that's the track of the Axis Deer that I mentioned, but never did see him. Or never did see him again. I feel like... Wasn't he only up to 213, actually? Because Diamond's 217. So maybe he wasn't that big. Been some since 24k? That was quite a while back, man. Appreciate you sticking around that long. Yeah, I know, Sweetness. The 6.5 just is not, in my opinion, class where it should be. If you compare it with the Mosin, the performance is pretty similar. I think it should just be there. It's not like it throws the game out of balance in any way, in my mind. And in fact, you want a super accurate rifle for like those smaller animals, and the 6.5 is exactly that. My dog's gonna be named Glock. That's a pretty cool dog name. I like that. No black buck down on that end. No, there is one. The biggest male I've ever seen. We'll still get it. Respawn reasons. Not doing well with the heart shots. Did we get right in the dead zone again? We did that yesterday, too. Well, that's not going to kill it. I don't think we're going to track a level 2 black buck. I'm pretty sure we shot above the heart, between the lungs, and the 243 can't penetrate back far enough to reach the liver. So he's just going to run. Well, that's definitely true, Hunter Man. A full rework would be nice. You talk so different on stream? Do I? Different than, like, in videos? I think I talk faster. There's a max weight estimate dilute. I think we should probably go and track that down. See what that guy looks like. I'm trying to think, because I've seen a bunch of like big dilute mule deer in multiplayer, so I never know if this is one that I've seen or not. I don't think it is. Surely I would have killed it. Also, while we're here though, I want to half pay attention for Black Buck. There's a pretty good four. Maybe we can get that, and then switch around and track the mule deer for a minute. Are you going to play ultimate hunting? I'm planning on it anyway. We'll have to see how all that goes. There's a bunch of them. Oh, mule deer. Alright. Ooh. That's obviously not the one that we're tracking, because it's not dilute, but let's also get that. Should be smoked. Yeah. And then... Sort of behind a tree, but... Got that. And now, we'll get back on our mule deer. Hopefully I don't forget that we gotta come back here, but... I do wanna know what this is. Not that. Excuse me. It's the one thing that dogs do on occasion is get in front of you. I don't see it very often. I think they did a pretty good job of, uh... Generally... Avoiding that, but... Like I said, it happens. Is this where we need to be? That's a trot. So maybe this is just a random track? Yeah, okay. Should be good. What was your percentage there? I just missed it. 28%? That is going to be quite slow, unfortunately. Next track, is it out here? Kinda looks that way. It would be good, like, staying away from the water is one of the rare times to stay away from the water is good, but this entire dead forest is so open, that's kind of the preference. It does, Ragnar. I'm excited to see more, though, that's for sure, because it was a pretty short trailer. Hmm... That's not gonna help us much, but... Wait. 
turned and went this way. We just shot stuff over that way. I wonder if he was just behind them. Believe in your phone. It'll be fine. Probably. So shortly we spooked it again. Wish we had been looking this direction, but happens. What's your best score for Fallow Deer? Uh, 267.3. Uh, just checked that earlier today, so happened to know exactly. I think max diamond fallow is 265.7. Nah, they can get at least like 276, I think. How did he get... We're on the right track, right? Oh, no, we are not. That explains it. At this point, we'll claim our mule deer and black buck, and then we'll go back and get on the right track. I was wondering, because it was like walking exactly to where the other one was. I should have winners, to be honest. Puma are just a bit of an issue sometimes. At least we lung shot these things. We'll have Rocky track the mule deer, because I think it probably ran the farthest. And then I want to just have him sit as we claim it, and we can quickly pet him and give him a treat. Let the bond go back up. Kind of, Rebecca. Kind of. Not one of my finer moments. There are mule deer down there. What are the odds that it would lead us the right way anyway? None of them look like big male dilutes. 251 ain't bad. Let's praise him. We're gonna have him stay. <laughs> Those were just opposite whistles. Give him a treat. And all the pets. Do you hunt with any dogs in real life? So, years ago, my friend had a couple of beagles and I hunted with them, but other than that, like, Never with any of my own. The two people that dislike the stream are Karens that hate hunting. Who knows? Doesn't really make much of a difference. Uh, like or dislike, it's still interaction and YouTube basically considers that a good thing, so it's no big deal. I thought this was a rock. That was pure luck. 113. We shot plenty of gold black buck. I'm happy with that. Still want to go and figure out where our dilute mule deer actually went. We'll get that solved. And then, what time is it? It's 1040. I think we'll still have time to just get to this lake. And then maybe here, if we can get there in time. That'll pretty much be all the black buck drink zones that I'm aware of. There may be other lakes where they drink. Depending on how long this dilute takes, we may switch maps and switch back to get our black buck respawns and do one more quick run. Probably the good spots, so like uh, this lake down here and mm, I guess here we shot two. Just the areas where we shot a few and could hope for respawns. Can you give your dog a treat? You sure can. I bought 250 just in case because uh, I got a message earlier today from someone that just couldn't see the treats in the store. I don't know why. I don't know if there's a bug with that or what, but it was after they had purchased their dog. So just to be safe, I bought 250 before I got mine, but I can still see it. So not sure what that bug might be. How's the new dogs? They are a lot of fun to hunt with. I really, really enjoy just having them around. Minus the like occasional time where he gets in front of us and slows us down, which, again, I just mentioned this, but they did a pretty good job of, I guess, avoiding that. You don't have too many occasions where you do end up uh, running into the dog and getting stopped. He's just a pretty, uh, I'm going to say like a low impact on your hunt kind of thing. He rarely is having any negative impact, but when you need him for tracking or whatever, he's right there ready to go. I think that's what they did well. They made it to where it's not negatively impacting you to have them. Which I feel like that was their downfall in Classics, though. 
I think it's well done. Can you give Rocky a treat? If we can find this dilute mule deer, we'll have him probably track it, um, or even find it if we drop it, and we'll give him a treat for that. That's awesome to hear, Tony. Uh, tracks, please. There's one up there. Did he slightly turn, or... Sometimes I swear you gotta pick up the next one in line and then they start showing up. Yeah, like we just ran over that. I swear that wasn't there. Who knows? I strongly doubt that ultimate hunting might take over Caldwell. I think that is a stretch from a 34 second trailer. I've only watched you on Twitch. Have you always streamed here also? I've been streaming on YouTube since back when like Zaggy and Jack Beard would stream for me. Like my internet was not good enough to actually stream. So they would basically stream to my channel. I'd be in Discord with them and everybody watching would see like their perspective but like I was the one reading chat and everything. That would have been summer of 2018 so it's been a while that we've been streaming here. Once again, no tracks. I want to know what this is. I really don't want to lose them. Turn up this way. Shoes the Kyla headaches away. You're getting a headache again, Kyla. Pollen will be the death of me. I mean, I hope not. That wouldn't be any good. That's no way to go. As far as I know, he is, Basher. We were trying to uh, figure out what was going on, and I'm guessing he might in like an hour and a half. That's usually his normal stream time, so we'll see. The heck, we're going back this way now. Run. Maybe we're close. After 12 years, access deer out there. I don't see any mule deer just yet. Would love to have a freshness on one of these to know like how much we should be really looking in the distance. I think we're about to know that for sure. What's up, Brent? Any gun updates? Nothing that I'm aware of. That's a decent size access deer trying to run us over. We're up to out very fresh now, so getting there. Some other ones out there, but I think those are access to your two. Or Pumas. <sighs> really? You choose to run exactly where I'm at? Thanks, man. Walking. I feel like we just missed them. If we could have found those tracks earlier, we might have seen them walking out in this open area. The Pumas, though, may have also spooked them before we would have. We'll see. Where do you buy the treats at? If you're in the store, they're under the consumables. Literally, first thing under consumables. What map? This is Parquet Fernando. Just giving you hugs, not running into me? Well, I needed them. It was quite kind. It was a little aggressive, but, you know, I can forgive that. Just now. All right. We're on the right track. Figured I should make sure of that because I actually didn't. We're not going to be following a mule deer that we've already killed. Hopefully, the way he's going, we're still going to have plenty of dead for us to spot him. We can at least figure out what level this is. It would be really cool to get a diamond one, so... Knowing that it's max weight estimate and it having some potential, I want to, at the very least, get eyes on him. Even if we don't kill him, but... I mean, the plan is, once we see him, if he's not a five, to just start shooting. The heck is that turnabout? Maybe that was the Pumas that caused that? Just out of nowhere, just 90 degree turn? Again, makes it insane that we didn't see him. Can you buy a dog without a DLC? Uh, no. You have to have the DLC to be able to purchase a dog. Turn him back this way. This guy's acting like a diamond. I'd love for it to actually turn out to be one. After all the strugs we're having just trying to get eyes on him. It feels like one of those tracks, and I know that I'm probably jinxing everything right now, but 
feels like one of those tracks where you've already seen the animal and just spend forever following it. All kinds of zigzags and stuff. I swear if he goes back to his drink zone after all this, because that's exactly what it looks like he's doing. That would be wild. Could have just sat there. Okay, there he is. Dang. It's a really big four. 275 to 337. I don't think level four mule deer have any chance of making diamond, but a pretty nice one. Best dilute I've seen. We may mount it for like the second lodge actually. Unless by some miracle he actually reaches diamond. I, I just can't see it. Also can't spot it which is frustrating. It's right in that spot where we could shoot him. About 220 away. At least we know the range. You really gotta hide directly behind the two bushes that are <laughs> anywhere in that general vicinity. Rude. Probably gonna 22 strat this, just in case. In case there's some hope or prayer of him actually reaching diamond. Want to alert him. And get a shot at him. Somebody asked about giving him a treat, by the way, so once we go and collect this, we will uh, have Rocky track it and give him a treat. Big meal. Our dogs already on PS4. They should be out on all platforms. Hey, Zaggy. Strugs. What made you start content creation? I always wanted to do something with it. Like, I tried Madden videos when I was probably like 14 years old or something. I tried doing a little bit of the Hunter Classic back then. Never really worked, but I had the recording software to do it. So eventually... Because I always had that, like, I guess, desire to do content creation, I, uh, I found a big non-typical whitetail in the Hunter Classic and just decided to record it because I had the recording software and basically I haven't quit since. It'll be six years in, what, six weeks, actually, roughly. May 12th will be officially six years. Did you find him? Maybe. I always like how they look at it, like, is this is this the one? Did I do it? We'll praise them. We'll have them sit just to get them to sit still. You don't have to have them sit to give them a treat. But we can give them a little biscuit. And we'll also give them a pet, just for being good. Is this the last? Yeah, on YouTube it is, Zaggy. Sadly, they don't give you a two-year one. Man. Three below diamond. That would have been so cool. I love this rack. It can make diamond really rarely. I think what you need is something like with these tines to be bent. So you get extra spread credit. Or the tip to tip spread. Like if the main beams go like more like that. Instead of curling inwards. You get a little wider tip to tip spread. So yeah we'll tax that. We'll probably put it in the second lodge. I just don't know that we have anywhere we can put it in the main lodge, or we might actually do that. May 12th is when you need another 12 hour, just saying. Is that what you want to do? Because, I mean, if you want to, we can try to do such things. Six years, you get less for murder. It's a long time. It's a long time to do any one thing. Fits the name killer pretty good. Till Kyla bans me. That was an entertaining time. I enjoyed that. And I'll do it again. Oof. What a stud. It's a good looking mule deer. Pretty cool. Whatever you weighed there, 195 kg, he probably could have been a little higher trophy rating and actually been like a level 5 diamond, but no such luck. Is the bug with the max level dog been fixed? To my knowledge, it has not been. So we're kind of just trying to not track too much with Rocky to make sure that we don't go uh, beyond level like 14. So he's almost level 11. If we take us though, we should be good. By the way, perfect companion level right now. Was that a diamond rack? It technically can be. You have to have like something special with it. That rack normally falls just short of diamond. That was 
maybe even a little higher scoring than the average for that rack. But if you get like a, jeez, especially big tip to tip spread or something, you can have that rack reach in diamond. I have seen it. You got a point there, Kyla. That actually wasn't your fault. Somebody done oofed. Oi. Chase him away. Don't let him get me. Like I said, I don't know why I do this, but I usually don't bother to shoot them. Just run around and hope they miss, I guess. Why is that? Is that just piebald? Just in case. We're probably going to get dead doing this. But it almost looks like it might be melanistic. I don't have a melanistic cinnamon teal mounted. I swear that looks a little different. And I can't hit it to save my life. There we go. Was that in the water? I think it was just across on the other side. Got a piebald axis deer over there. All kinds of mule deer. Everything is running around. Everything except for what I was hoping to see, which would be black buck. I know they can drink at this lake, but I don't see any. Wait, what am I doing? I can't leave. I gotta stay here. Or did it? No, we do gotta go around. Okay. Nicely done. Gee, thanks. I tried. I hope it's a melon stick. It's actually not, Jack. If you look directly into it, like from standing straight over the dog bowl, it's quite clean. It's the reflection of the roof that makes it look like extremely dirty. Sounds good, Zaggy. Smoked. There's a puma running around because Rocky's growling. Whatever this is right here shall be a puma. Small. It is really nice information to have. Like when you're hunting around and if you hear the dog growl, I'm like, all right, that's going to be a puma then. I'll look in that direction. That kind of stuff's nice. The dogs work in multiplayer? As far as I know, they do. I actually haven't gotten to test it out. Is this what I think it is? Or is it just a normal piebald? I can't tell. Yeah, just normal. It looked oddly dark to me, but that's probably the only duck variant that I haven't killed in the new system. I'm sure there's ones that we don't have mounted. Well, female ones that we don't have mallard, mounted for the mallards, but we might have all the rare males mounted. I don't even know. Anyway, a uh, quick check here. Nothing really big. Maybe if we run around we can see the ones that are spawned like right here by the lodge. If there's nothing else there, we're going to check the lake up in Junto al Lago. Just to look for Mjolnir since we got that big dilute. Then we're going to switch maps, come back here, and do one more run for Black Buck. On to the next one. Wait, I missed something clearly. Oh. <laughs> what map is this? I don't get it. You saved your life? What? I'm clearly missing something here. I'm not seeing anything spawning. There's one small buck out there. Alright, I mean, good to know that there's not really anything worth looking back there for. Won't do it next time. So let's check here. I really am curious, um, because we got that dilute, if there's been anything changed with Mule Deer, or if we just happen to have like a good respawn. Worth checking the spot that's been good. Found a Melanistic Grizzly yesterday, but lost its track. Was it on your own map? Because if so, it should still be there. So sad when you get the same question over and over. Well, the thing is, uh, you know, not everybody's here the entire time. So a question that's been answered, excuse me, sir, a question that's been answered like, you know, 12 times, it, you know, might not have been answered when the next person that gets to the stream was here and they might want to know. It's just how it goes. 
Just used to the diamond duck. Nice. I have every map, and when I go to the map and press X to change maps, it doesn't let me. Is there any chance you're trying to do that in multiplayer? Because you can only do that in single player. And yes, witness they should have. As far as I know, everything's working. There's the one, like, ugly rack that can still spawn. The, like, backwards facing antlers just about. Other than that, they're working. <laughs> English only. I did see that. Breaking our own rules. Quite sad. All level twos. Okay. Yeah, there's one small three. Yeah, there's actually a bunch. I don't see any big ones. So we might just call that good. Yeah, no big meals. Alright, let's go change the time back to... How long do we have? 34 minutes will be... Almost exactly two hours, so 9.30 is fine. Or 8.30, whatever I'm doing. Do you have a diamond melanistic mallard? The only duck species... Oh, I guess crashing the game works. Ooh, or not crashing. Imagine that. Saved it. I didn't do anything, but anyway. We're just switching maps and coming back to Parquet, but... Uh, yeah, the only duck species I don't have, like, a super rare of, per se, even though they're not really super rares, is mallards. I did technically kill a piebald diamond one, like, the day the ducks were released and they were just everywhere, but... I basically don't even count that. They were just too easy to get. As far as I know, switching maps gets your respawns. Uh, we shall find out soon, I guess. Good morning, loving this. Uh, got me back into the game. I'm glad to hear that. Always glad to hear people are getting back into the game for new stuff. Are the dogs for all platforms? Yep, they're out on all platforms now. Why is my update 55 gigs? It's just for some bloodhounds and true acts for black bucks. Apparently, EW doesn't choose like the final size of the update. That's Microsoft. Why it's 55 gigs? I have no idea. That's right, Fishing's phone's gonna die on us. Didn't have the... the strength to continue. Mallards are the only uncommon duck I have. It's a pie ball on PS4. They're, uh... You see so many of them. I'm surprised I've never had such a thing. Just never had the luck, I guess. I have all my guns in my inventory, and I cannot get them when I'm playing. It sounds like your game's kind of messed up. I'd probably contact support if I were you. Steam has the dog DLC on sale. Yeah, it's pretty cool that we're doing that, actually. Uh, I can look... Oh, wait. Um, I can sort of look. If I look on the top chatter thing, Kyla, it's going to tell me yesterday's stream and today's. I don't think I can look at an individual stream. Maybe I can change the... Like, the time period it looks at. I'll see. Got off school for braces, so I'm just grinding call the wild. There you go. Good deal. Just got a male piebald pronghorn and a male piebald mule deer on the same lake in Silver Ridge Peaks. That's actually kind of neat. Two different rares or two different species at the same lake. Both males? I can't say I've had that for certain. Maybe sometime, but I can't remember it. I need dogs to go coyotes and call the wild? The animations would be cool to see how they would handle that, but I don't think that's too necessary. Some male black buck, and we did not see any males down here before, so. Oh, it's a very small male, but still. Respawns, I guess. As he face plants. Random thought I typed. I do that. No filter, just whatever's in my head gets typed or said. That rhymed. I still need me a gold or better a euro. Bison and it's driving me crazy. 
shouldn't be. If you go to like Tishinau in the early morning, say between 3 and 7, and hunt some of the lakes, that area or up through, uh, I want to say it's Ernstorf or something into Spreeberg. That's like a nice color on those horns. Puma somewhere. Anyway, all those spots are pretty good for the Euro Bison. I also killed, I think my most recent diamond one was all the way up in Jonsdorf. They they make their rounds on her, Sheldon. They're pretty all over. Smoked. Rocky keeps growling at this thing. Just wanna know how big it is. Or get spun around when I jump. I don't know what that was. What would you think if they added traps like for coyotes? In my mind, that probably wouldn't be the best thing for them to do. I just don't think enough people would use it. Because you gotta think, they gotta add all new, um, you know, models and stuff for that. They'd have to do a bunch of new mechanics, some AI tweaks to get the coyotes or whatever to go to them. Animations for all that stuff, and, like, are enough people actually going to use the traps for it to be worth their time and effort and resources? I don't know. Maybe they would, but from my experience with anything slower being added to these games, a lot of people just don't care for it, so I would be... I would rather them spend their time with something else, basically. There's red deer everywhere. This is where we shot one of our diamonds, so I want to half pay attention to them, but no black buck. I was hoping to clear a little more pressure at this lake, but that's alright. It probably will, Carmeet. Probably will. Uh, Seth, the video from earlier is today's uh, content, plus this stream. No 5pm Eastern video today. I swear every duck group I find a pie bulb. Yeah, they're quite common, unfortunately, so you do see a lot of them. I wish they were more rare. The rare ducks and geese in Classic are, like, you know, really proper rares. And it's actually a bit of an achievement to find one. But then again, when you're playing Call of the Wild, and there's just ducks at, like, every lake, it does make sense that the rares are a little more common. How many hours do we have in game? Uh, 4,076 right now. I mean, a little bit, Kyla. Trying to, you know, switch it up a little bit. We are having a pretty good hunt, Bob. Nothing incredibly special. We did get a nice dilute um, mule deer. It was like three below diamond. It was a level four, so not a really annoying troll or anything, just a good size four that I was, for some reason, holding out hope could be diamond, even though I was pretty sure it wasn't possible. I think we just had the spot icon come on. Yeah, there's a black buck coming in through there. Uh, Black Marlin, thank you so much once again, man. You are far too generous, but I appreciate you, dude. Hope you're having a good day. Big money over there. Man is a champ, but I appreciate it. Okay, we sort of messed up last time. Yeah, that's one of the better black buck that we missed out on. I don't know if he's the biggest. It's tough to tell when they're all crammed into that area. There's another good four back there. Not as big. Eh. I guess we'll go for that one. Which one was he? That guy there. How far actually is that? 350 meters. It's a good chance this goes south, but we're going to try it anyway. He's kind of like that one we shot before. Pretty good uh, mass and like tighter curls. Yeah, we got that. These guys aren't actually going to spook. There's a couple of good ones in there. We'll have to, at some point, go like set a tripod or up. Tripod or up. Tripod up or something. Just so we can get to those better. Because there's not a good way right now of really hunting them. Don't spin around. How am I supposed to hit you like that? I don't appreciate it. Are we hitting that tree? Or where are our rounds going? I guess that one's getting away. Is 
since I'm new to Call of Wild, can you tell me what weapon is best for lions? I would recommend the 300 uh, canning magnum. If you're newer to the game and don't have that, the 7 mil will get the job done. You can get the 7 mil, gosh, like level uh, 10 or 11. Your other option would be, I think weapon pack two has the drilling combination rifle. The 9.3 in that would work. That you can get, I think it's, like it doesn't cost you any in-game cash, so you could get it really early on. Or I guess if you buy the smoke and barrel weapon pack, you'd, you, you could use the 10 gauge slugs, but uh, wouldn't recommend. No scope makes that tough. What's the best shotgun? Well, I actually just happened to mention it, definitely the 10 gauge. It is by far in my mind the best goose weapon. It's just super powerful. Uh, close range, it's got a bit of extended range beyond like what the 12 gauge can reach out to. Plus the slugs are like Cape Buffalo. Uh, they can take those down pretty easy. They're quite good. 30 odd six is a good one for lions. It only goes to class eight though, it'll kill them, but you'll lose your uh, proper ammo check, which is unfortunate. I'm getting that weird binocular thing again. I might try reinstalling Razor Synapse because I don't know what's going on. Uh, the Hunter 17 Black Buck drink 9 to 12. It's a nice, uh, nice drink time on this map because you got Mule Deer drinking as well. You have Red Deer leading up to it and kind of Water Buffalo. They drink 10 to 1300, so it's kind of in that same area. And then you actually get Puma again right after that, so it's a good time to hunt this map. Goodness, why does that keep happening? I don't like it. It's a little frustrating. Hey, there's that guy again. Could try. Gonna be tough on the walk, but maybe if we can get him spotted in this opening. And then bodyguards. Ah, there's another tree directly in front of that. Tree is stealing all of our bullets. I don't appreciate it. Which razor products do you have? Um, I've got... I don't know what it's called. It's like a desk mat, essentially, with the RGB lighting around the outside. And then my keyboard is a uh, Black Widow Elite, and my mouse is a Naga Trinity. Happened to you a little earlier? I thought it was from your end? Hmm. Interesting. Why the, I guess that's meant to be like a sensor. Is my character trying to walk backwards or I'm trying to walk forward? Check and see if your keybinds have been um, messed up because I know they did some changes to keybinding stuff. There's a chance that maybe you have something double bound. Small mail. Getting good respawns though. I don't know if we can get some idea. I mean, this is since 12.30. We started the stream at like 12.20. Easily like 15 to 20 black buck the stream. That'll be a good start for respawns. Hey, Silver. If you post your gaming setup on Instagram, I do have a setup tour here on YouTube, but that would be something to do with the Instagram. So maybe, maybe that'll be a thing. That's that same one again. I just, I don't even want them anymore. I don't need it. Do you live in PA or just hunt here? I have lived here my entire life. Leveling up track and we gotta be careful. It's up to 11 now. Do you use the 12 button add-on? I actually did for a while. The biggest reason I got that mouse to begin with was the 12 button add-on because I could play like the Hunter Classic with just one hand. Could just lay back, half-heartedly play the game. It was great. But now I just use the two button one. So I've got the front button does my uh, headlamp. The back button, I think I have a bound of something, but I never use it. Yeah, that's cool. I like the mass on that. 48 kg though. They definitely made them a lot tougher to reach diamond. Let's get a treat and stuff for Rocky. What's better, M1 or 303? It really depends. Um, 
if you're not taking a lot of follow-up shots, probably the 303 is definitely more powerful. The M1 with that uh, semi-automatic capability, though, it really does help for, like, grinding stuff. Usually I carry the M1 for that reason. One more pet, and then we're off. They are nice, Rebecca. They did a good job with the Black Buck. I'm, I'm genuinely impressed, because I think the Spiraling Horns at least had the potential to really throw them for a loop. But they've done quite good. They have different horn colors. They have, like, different bends in the horns. You can definitely get some wonky ones, but they're generally quite symmetric. I think they did good. I like them. Gosh, Scooter Gang, I was there... It's been years. I went there for something... I think we went to some kind of outdoor show in the area and stopped by there afterwards. News on Labradors in Caldwell. Man, we just got Bloodhounds. It'll be a while till we get another dog breed, I would say. They're out, cool. Dogs are out now. Sadly, I have to leave. No worries, man. We'll catch you in a future stream somewhere. Sweeten is gonna grab some lunch. Good idea. Sounds good. Appreciate you hanging out, man. If you get another dog, name it Silver. I don't know what we'll name another dog if we get one. I'd like to just kind of... I might do the same thing as I've done in Classic. Maybe I should change it up. In Classic, I had named all of my dogs starting with R, so my Retriever was Rocky, which actually... Now my Bloodhound in Call of Wow's named Rocky, but then my tracking dog in Classic was Razor, and my Pointer was Radar. I like the idea of naming them all, like, with an R, but maybe we'll change it up. I'm assuming the dogs pick up the animal once you shoot it? Now they'll track it, but they don't, like, retrieve or pick up the animal or anything. You still gotta go along with them and actually claim them. Getting my wallet out for the dogs? I'd say they're well worth it. It's just fun to have them there with you. I really, like, when they announced they were going to be Bloodhounds, and I'd, I'd mentioned it in my video where I was talking about it, what I was hoping for was the ability for them to track animals that had not yet been shot. And they can't do that. They, they have to be tracking, like, blood. I kind of figured it would be a good thing to, like, you know, take out of the kennel every now and then and be like, okay, today's, today's video we're going to go hunt with our dog and just, it'll be fun, but... I don't see a reason to not bring the dog on any hunt. They don't impact things. It's just, they did really well. Quite happy with it. Just got a dog and I'm calling him time out. There you go. He'll learn his name well. Look at these big male mule deer we're getting today. That's actually a decent one. So over here's where we sort of halfway messed up shooting that one bigger black box? I want to see if there's any new respawns there. What was the update for? Uh, for Truax black buck, for the dogs, and there's a decent amount of uh, fixes along with it. I see one... Oh no, they're back there. I was going to say, one black buck would not be correct. Last time, they're in that spot where, like, the brush can hide them. Last time we missed out on a good one by kind of rushing, so we'll take our time. There are a ton back in there, too. I wonder if any of these are, like, nervous from the other herd? I don't see any huge ones. Let's go ahead from here, since we can see well. We can take... That guy, if I can get him spotted. And I don't know where the other one is. We'll just wait and watch. There's that one. Is that the only other male? I think so. There's a massive herd of females then. Have you tried the dog on multiplayer yet? Curious if multiple dogs affect the map at all. I have not. I'll probably get to play multiplayer a little bit later. I do have to work on editing uh, the monthly montage. There's also a two in there I guess we missed out on. 
So yeah, I don't know how much of that I'll get to do today. We are, by the way, going to be switching up the schedule a little bit this week. Obviously, today is normally a classic video. But we have Call of the Wild today. Uh, the montage is going to be tomorrow. And then Thursday is going to be Call of the Wild again. So there's not going to be a throwback Thursday video this week. We'll skip over uh, to next week for that. Should be all good, though. The stream, though, tomorrow night is still going to be classic. Uh, yeah, Philip, I'm, I'm on PC. Are there different types of dogs, like Lab or Golden Retriever? Right now, there is just the Bloodhound. I think eventually we can expect to see other breeds of dogs, but gotta give them time to get such things developed. I kind of feel bad for people that haven't gotten the dogs yet. A lot of people are posting cool pictures. I saw somebody got like a nice gold melanistic Roosevelt elk they had their dog posing beside. I was really happy with that fallow picture from this morning. I just wish the fallow would have been facing up the hill when I shot it. Or on flat ground or something, because it could have looked so much better. What gun for the black buck? We're just rolling with the 243. The starting gun. Quentin, unfortunately, the game doesn't support uh, keyboard mouse on console. I don't know why. I think they should add support for that, but as I understand it right now, that is not a thing. There was a something. I don't know what... Oh, there we go. Small mule deer. Did we see... I can't remember. I don't think there are any black buck on this end, but we got here late. So let's check again just to be sure. And then we'll also check the north end, because there's sometimes black buck zones up in that area. And I think by the time we do all that, we'll have still enough time to get to this zone and maybe one more yet. I have no idea Legacy Outdoors. Not a clue. How long ago did you take that now, Kyla? Pretty much right at the start of the stream, huh? Not doing its job. Uh, sticks. I would probably try to get the 7 mil if I were you. It's a pretty good gun. Ever thought about doing a day in the life type of video? Um, I've considered it actually. Well, I've had the thought of it. I really haven't considered doing it because I feel like waking up, reading Discord, and then going to record a video would be a pretty boring video. Casually dying? You can't just go dying on us. That's no good. By the way, this is a herd that we definitely have not seen, so maybe there's a big male hiding in here somewhere. I don't think there's any. That one four was decent. What about dogs and geese hunting? The bloodhounds don't do anything with geese, but hopefully we get retrievers one of these days for such things as that. Where? There was a bigger four that we spotted. Where was he at? It's like up towards the right. There he is. Hiding kind of in there. It's a leucistic, isn't it? How did I not know that? Must have been really in the shadows. I feel like he's going to turn. Should make gold the way he looks, so... It might be a good one to mount and take to the second lodge with our dilute mule deer. Back to drinking with a bodyguard. Oh, that's going to be literally impossible. I guess we're going to have to alert them again. There's zero angle for such a shot to happen. Okay. That's a little better. Get his friend too. Just for respawn purposes. Kyla is immortal? Definitely. 100%. Can't stand finding a herd of like 20 reds and no males. Yeah, sometimes they hurt they hurt up in uh like 20 or 30 hinds. It's quite frustrating. You sure can, Tyler. I wish they would add raccoons, the hound can chase up a tree. Maybe one day we'd see that kind of uh stuff added. Who knows? Should I get the 22 for, like, ducks and turkeys? I would absolutely recommend it. 
Duck hunting and turkey hunting with shotguns really doesn't happen as often in this game as you might expect. The 22 shooting the ducks off water and the turkeys in the distance, at least when you're like trying to hunt efficiently and shoot as many animals as possible and not be sitting there waiting. Generally that's more the way to go. There's that binocular issue again. Because you don't age, exactly, that's what I was getting at. Will the dogs warn you about dangers? Uh, they'll growl at any predators that are within like 50 meters it seems. And they do bark at like aggressive cave buffalo or water buffalo, stuff like that. A little bit uneven, but it kind of works. Doesn't look too bad. Naturally though, both leucistics that we shot, one in the early access and one uh, in the live game now have been uneven and little weirdos. Even that was a gold three. Well, hi. Didn't know that was over there. Just kind of was checking one last spot. There's a black buck drink zone. I think she's by herself, but good to know. Might be an area to check in multiplayer and such. First monistic animal was a side striped jackal. That's a pretty cool one. I haven't had a... I think I did get a monistic female jackal, but I haven't had a rare jackal in general in quite a while now. They're neat little animals. I do like them. The biggest males? I've, they're the same estimate and everything. Hold on. Just hold on a second. Just hold on. Oh god. That first shot was not it. They both die. I just want to know if they score the same with the same estimates and same everything. Little weirdos, where do you think I got such a phrase, Kyla? I haven't the faintest clue. Uh. Um, is that... Shayan or Cheyenne? I'm not sure how to say the name, but favorite IRL loaded? I think I might have seen a 3030 in one of your hunting vids. P.S. Don't worry about pronouncing my name. Well, uh, appreciate that because clearly I struggled with it, but thank you. Um, yeah, so I used a 3030 pretty much for the first 10 years pretty much of hunting. I did actually take my first two deer with the 243. After that, I used a 3030 for about 10 years and... I, in February of 20, 2020, I guess, I bought a 7mm Adi. Still haven't gotten to shoot a live animal with it, but it's a pretty good shooting gun. I'm looking forward to getting that. Getting to use that, I should say. Uh, as for my favorite loadout, though, my compound bow. That's far and away my favorite type of hunting. Like, I hunt in rifle season to get meat. I hunt in archer season for like the experience and everything if that makes sense. It's not quite the same. Huh. I guess we actually did okay. I was sure that shot on the other level 2 was messed up. So what do we have? 158.5 and 143.02 kg. This guy ran a little further. Or a lot further. Biggest diamond moose, I think 300.6 or something like that. Yeah, he's slightly different weight and score. Other estimate just came out to be exactly the same. No more black buck in this area. Alright, let's check one last spot here. It's where we killed the most of them earlier. I still don't know though. We're gonna have to like back up, I guess, till we can see them, because they clearly drank here. They came here when they were nervous, but. I gotta move that tent somewhere else. A little farther away. It used to work. I used to drink like a little further away, I guess. Well, we'll get eyes on them one way or another. There's also, I think, a max weight estimate blonde mule that lives up here, so maybe we can see that as well. Shailene, thanks for the super chat. Guides for setting up black buck zones for grinding. I probably am gonna do a black buck guide somewhat soon. I haven't done one in the past. I'm trying to think, did I do a mule deer guide on Parquet? Did I do a mule deer guide at all? Usually I do a mule deer guide when, or a guide for whatever species is getting tracks, but I don't remember doing that. Hmm. Yeah, well anyway. Most of the lakes on Parquet can have black buck. 
it's pretty much like these far west ones. And I think these two big ones. Cut off all those, basically every, every other lake can have black buck drink stones and I would pretty much approach that like I'd approach any kind of grouting. Start to run around, find your zones, set up your tents and tripods from there and kind of shoot big males and repeat. Did you, Rebecca? I didn't see anything. I also don't see any black buck. What is the deal with that zone? Hi. There they are. What are they nervous from, though? There's a good size four. They're fleeing, too. So there must be a puma. Well, still probably get a chance at him. Actually, he's stopping now. No, I don't want to spot the red deer. Well, he's dead. I don't know if we hit him well, but it works. Those big two at the bottom have black buck? I've never seen a black buck there. Well, maybe that's something we should check for next time then. Good to know. I appreciate that information. We'll check that out. The other... So next time we have black buck, we got to go up this side. We'll check those two lakes that you just mentioned. And I didn't get to check here. So I'll have to do that too, but... That just leaves some potential for... Big male initial spawns, not the respawns. Why don't people use the 470 more? The 470 is not that good. Uh, it's very limited on range, and unfortunately it doesn't do a whole lot better than the 300. So, like, why not carry the 300 at that point? Vocal access to there, just saying hi. Saying hello. Sounds good, Philip. The lake north of the bottom two on the west has them on my map? As in... Here? Or here? I know this one gets them. I'm pretty sure this one can. Gotta go and visit them. Check it out. What's up, Sam? You haven't missed too much. Uh, we got a decent leucistic uh, black buck and a pretty solid dilute mule deer. Speaking of mule deer... It's not too bad at 116. Actually, both long shots. But let's uh, let's run up through here and see if we can get that max weight estimate blonde track again. Or better yet, just spot the thing. That's a little bit of random frame stutter, but I'd like to know how big that one is. And maybe we can smoke another black buck as we go along. Most of the time, everything runs out this way and then either goes around the edge or turns back. I'm just not sure how we missed it last time if it was there. Two weeks ago or something like that was almost exactly two weeks ago to the hour at this point. Go figure. Mm, maybe we can get shot like that. That works. Still don't see the mule deer. Can we get that one too? Slow down. They're kind of like spring buck. They take a long time when they're running. Feels like forever ago. It sure does. The concept of time makes a lot less sense when you start considering how long ago stuff like that feels versus how long the last two weeks has taken. Counting to the hour? It just happened to be very close. There's the track that I was looking for. So where is he? I don't get it. He's hiding from us. I'm trying to... I'm trying to stay away. It's not like he can just avoid us forever. a good question, winners. Very old. So where... Hmm. Where does he actually drink? There's actually another black buck drink zone up here, if I remember right, so we may get the chance to see more respawns and get another one or two, which is always good. I just want to know where this guy lives. 
we saw that nice dilute and it's got me wanting to smoke big male mule deer all of a sudden so might as well check there we go big that's it so is he hiding down in here because what could happen is if he drinks like directly in front of us somewhere he could spook to the left while we're watching everything to the right and then run back there's a leucistic female too uh you could run down the shore kind of Oi. What is this speeding up right when I take a shot thing? I don't appreciate that. Rude. If there was a mule deer down here, it is not a fan of everything we're doing. There is a mule deer, but that's not the one. Uh, I gotta get back on his tracks, but where the heck did he go? I don't get it. Did you already get bored using the bloodhound? The reason we're not having him track everything, or the, okay, the mule deer tracks have disappeared. Great. That's a little bit odd. But yeah, the reason we're not having the bloodhound track everything is there is a bit of a glitch when, okay, because they're back. There's a bit of a glitch when you reach max tracking level of the bloodhounds and they sort of track in slow motion. So we're just sort of, you know, taking our time and not tracking literally everything we could. I think he did exactly what I was talking about, too. So he's probably back here somewhere. Is there any chance we could actually see him? I don't really mind that leucistic female uh, black buck, so... Just, I want to know what this mule deer is. That is all. Big mod love. I like that. Mods are out here killing it every week apparently sometimes two days in a row when new uh, content releases all the mod love think they should add spear hunting it's been asked about quite a lot um, I really feel like that's the type of thing where they'd probably add it it wouldn't be up to the standard of the people that do want it and then nobody would use it that would be my worry with that kind of thing Everything is fine. Always. There's a red deer out there. There are... Black buck. Would love another <laughs> age track with this mule deer just to know if we're wasting our time or not. That's probably old then. No. Wait, what? I'm confused. Uh, Martin, thanks for the super chat. Where can I get treats for dogs? They're in the consumables section of the store. Here we go. Where did that go? I seen it. Uh, just now. So he's somewhere up here in front of us. Just doing a real good job of staying out of our line of sight. They usually, when they run this way... And this is where it'd be nice if dogs could track animals that haven't been shot, because... There's so many tracks here. There's black buck tracks all over the place, but they usually do stick right to the shore. Crab ray for the mods. Yes, I like it. What do I think about a fishing DLC? Again, a lot of people ask for it. It's just a lot of animations and equipment and... Is our hunter mate not updating or what's happening there? That's odd. Anyway, lots of stuff they'd have to do. I just wonder how much it would be used in a game, you know, the Hunter Call of the Wild. It's not like an outdoor game necessarily, it's specifically a hunting game. So, would it get enough use would be my worry? I hear a thing. I guess it's the black bug running away from us. Campbell, thanks for the super chat, man. I appreciate you. We're almost back around to our tent, and I'm tempted to fast travel, but... If he's not quite to our tent, and then we fast travel over there, he's going to turn around and go exactly where we just came from in all this area that we can't see well, so... I'll go into plan. He'll be just out here, not too far ahead of us in view. What do I not see? I don't know what I don't see. Stuff, probably. Alright, Mr. Mule Deer. Ooh. It's a messed up diamond one. Dang it. Not a good rack, but he would make it. Let's uh, 
I don't mind if we mess this up, quite honestly. I'm not a fan of that set of antlers. Where'd he go? I saw him up there. Excuse me. You're not it. There you are. Smoked. <laughs> oh, what am I gonna do with it? Couldn't have been the dilute with an ice rack. Had to be that. Had to be. Still a five? It's true. I'm not gonna keep it in the main lodge anyway. I just, I don't like them. So that's, uh, what, five diamonds <laughs> mule deer we've had now and three of them have looked like that. It's most unfortunate. Hey, Ryan, thanks for the super jam, man. We'll have Rocky track that. We'll actually get him, uh, get his bond up so he can get max XP. Looks like an old school, school rock star. He looks like something. So ungrateful like me. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's just a straight up broken rack. I'm not so much ungrateful as I am annoyed that it's not fixed yet. But maybe they'll fix it one of these days. And maybe it'll actually look good in the lodge as well. We're almost done, Emu. We uh, just happened to run into a... How are you not maxed yet? I guess we've really been neglecting him lately. But uh, yeah, happened to run into a level 5 Mule Deer. Not a good looking one by any stretch of the imagination, but... Burn it. I hate that rack. I know, man. It's just... It's not good. It's not good. Go find him, Rocky. Go find that abomination of a mule deer. I mean, I could see it right there. Goodness. It's just... Like, it literally looks like it's backwards. Not a fan. That made me laugh since I complain about common diamonds and such. I mean, this is a blonde, so should I be surprised? Maybe not. What are you doing standing on? That's probably what you should do. Stand right there. How you doing? Doing good? Did you find him yet? I think I'm confusing him by going back and forth. There you go. All right. 341.4, of course. Max weight, and he looks like that. <laughs> what do you do? Is there any way, like if they twisted these antlers around, I think it could work. They wouldn't score 340 because the tip to tip spread on these, yeah, it's 53, <laughs> which is just insane. But yeah, that's, uh, that's probably our biggest diamond mule deer. I still would like to know if they pop reset the mule deer or if they, um, if that's just a respawn. You get a treat for finding your second diamond today. Good work. Ugly blonde. It's not the blonde I need. I know, Ryan. I don't know what it is. It's not, it's not good. All right, to the second lodge then. We'll place... Two mule deer and a black buck in here, I think. The grossest antlers ever. They're not good. They are not good. Got stuck in a few trees while rubbing. Yeah, just uh, twisted his antlers. It makes perfect sense if you really think about it. I mean, just don't think about it too hard until it starts making less sense. What was supposed to be here? We killed something and I took it down for a thumbnail, clearly. No idea at this point. I'm trying to find a place. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, right here. We can do both mule deer side by side. I thought they fixed this, but they definitely did not. So, blonde. Oh my goodness. Blonde that thing. <laughs> There's no way to make it look good. There's zero angles. The one that actually somewhat works is the skull plate, but... Nah. They gotta be side by side. I mean, just look how much better that looks. Why couldn't you be the diamond? No answer. Why am I on my own? Oh, the blonde I need? I said it's not the blonde I need, but yeah. Where is... I can't... 30th is always... Do black bucks not fit on this anymore? What? I guess
guess not. I thought they fit on plaques that size. Because I swear I saw them. Yeah. Maybe that's not as big of a plaque as I thought. Maybe that's normal. At least we got to add to our second lodge. I still can't believe that, but, you know, it's what happens. About not knowing what was supposed to go on the thing? Oh, yeah, well, clearly I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, I think that E is going to do it for the stream. We did pretty well. I mean, we got ourselves a gold leucistic black buck that looks all right. I guess we could put that in the main lodge, but I think we can get one that's even and looks a little better. This abomination of a diamond mule deer and our dilute. I like that. It looks good. So yeah, as always, guys, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support, and I'll hopefully see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!